Can we talk about YouTube? YouTube has changed my life and I haven't even made a dollar. Why haven't I made a dollar yet? If you're on this YouTube journey with me, then you know what it takes to make a dollar on YouTube. Number one, you got to have a thousand subscribers. Well, I got over 5,000 subscribers. I'm really doing my thing. So if I got 5,000 subscribers, then how come I'm not monetized yet? Because you also have to have 4,000 watch hours. And I ain't got 4,000 watch hours. I got somewhere around 2,800 watch hours. And why do I only have 2,800 watch hours? Because you haven't shared my video. You got to share my video with everybody you know. So man, this man walking down the bayou, talking about life. And you get to see the beautiful scenery. You might even see some birds flying. You might see some fish jumping. Hell, you might even see a snake. You go back and watch some of my previous videos, and you see that a snake was just sitting up there on the guard, on the, on, the, on the passageway, on the trail. And so as we're on this journey to make dope content, I want to encourage you and say, hey, if you put one foot in front of the other and you show up every day, man, you one video away. <laughs> Ain't that the running joke on YouTube that you just one video away from being YouTube famous? Yeah, it sounds really good. But you gotta do a whole bunch of work. When I say that it's changed my life, when I say that YouTube has changed my life, it's because I've had to learn how to do things that I didn't think possible. When I first picked up a camera, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know anything about sound or graphic design. Hey, I didn't know anything about talking in front of a camera. Nothing about presentation. I didn't know the process of even buying a camera. And so once I decided to record myself, then I saw that. I didn't like my initial videos, my earlier videos, <laughs> they're not that good. I didn't, I wasn't comfortable in front of the camera and I hadn't figured out what, what I wanted to say yet. And that's the world right now. See, YouTube is the most powerful tool in the history of the world. And he here's how the world is. If you don't tell the world who you are, then the world will tell you who you are. And when you have access to such a powerful tool like YouTube, then you got to utilize it to tell everybody what you believe, what you think. You ain't got to pander. There's so many people pandering in the world. They won't actually say how they genuinely feel because they don't want nobody to get mad at them. <laughs> and I ain't worried about nobody getting mad at me. I think that we're supposed to explore ideas to build each other. And I think that's what's so exciting about YouTube, right? YouTube gives you the ability to explore and learn and man, out here on this journey right now, I just came, I just came to a, a stop in the road, right? There was a big old great blue heron flying by, and it just flew out of this water because it's trying to catch some fish. Now the problem for me is I can't go this way. I can't go that way. The bridge is up there, and there's water down here. So what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? I guess I'm supposed to just navigate this thing and walk around it and get through it somehow. And that's the thing about YouTube, right? <laughs> YouTube is so difficult that you, you, get, you run into stops and you don't even know how to do it. You don't know how to fix it. Uh, you don't know how to edit. You're like, why aren't I getting any views on my videos? Yeah, yeah, because it's not that interesting. <laughs> because they're not that good yet. And until you pick up a number of different skills, they ain't gonna be good. And so on this process, I'm like, I'm like, man, I learned so much. And even though I learned so much, I ain't made no money. And even though I ain't made no money, I still got so much more to learn. And even though I still got so much more to learn, out here on this bayou, <laughs> what is this stuff? When it floods, it just leaves debris and nastiness everywhere. It's quite filthy. <laughs> it's a hard journey. Up and down the bayou is a hard journey. And I think it's a great parallel to creating content. Because the, the journey to create content, whoo, it can be exhausting. It can, motherfuck, we just stuck. <laughs> motherfuck, we just stuck. <laughs> I ran into a problem and I don't even know how to solve it. Can you help me solve it? Get in the comment section and tell me what I'm supposed to do and where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm putting myself into a corner. And now I can't get out of here. I think when there's a trail that's paved for you, perhaps it's in your best interest, perhaps it's in your best interest to stay on the trail. Now I ain't even gotten started yet. I'm already out of breath. And I see this stuff over here. Man, I'm praying. I'm praying ain't no spiders over here. I'm praying ain't no snakes over here. Man, I don't feel like getting bit today. 
man, I don't want to get eaten up today. I just want to take a walk, talk YouTube, and take my butt home. Can we do that, please? Back on track again. Holy, that was an adventure with itself. When you say, man, you, my, my, my baby mama asked me, my baby mama, my ex-wife, she said, who wants to listen to a big fat man breathing hard? She said, I don't want to see that. Now she says that, right? She watched the whole thing. She said that, right? And I bet you my baby mama watches all of my videos from front to back. That's why she be mad at me sometimes. Because I don't say things that she agree with. And that's okay. We're supposed to have a meeting of the minds, difference of opinions. We're supposed to push culture forward by being good and honest people. Now let's be honest about YouTube. When I say YouTube is the most powerful tool that ever exists in the history of the world, that's a fact. It's also the biggest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world. Why is it a Ponzi scheme? What is a Ponzi scheme? A Ponzi scheme is when you use the energy of all your subordinates to make a whole lot of money at the top, but the people at the bottom, they never make any money. 95% of people on YouTube will never make a dollar on YouTube. This is a fact. And so if I'm encouraging you to do a job that doesn't get paid, number one, YouTube did an amazing job at getting free labor. <laughs> they made it fun to work for free. They created the best business model in the history of the world because once you start doing this thing, once you start getting engagement on your videos, the first time you get a video that does a thousand views, oh, it's exciting. The first time you get a video that does 10,000 views, it's unbelievable. And once you get a video that does 100,000 views, you're like, man, I didn't think that was possible. And now after you hit all these mile markers, you think a paycheck should be just around the corner. That depends on how you set up your business. My business, I consult and I can help a person set up that YouTube page. That's extremely profitable. But other than that, as far as making money directly on the platform, it's extremely challenging. And so what are you supposed to do? I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You get in the comment section and you say, man, I need some help. I need some help creating my YouTube channel. And we will, me and you will have a conversation and I will help you build your YouTube channel. Why? Why am I going to work even harder to help someone and when they ain't going to get paid? Well, I think that if you get started and you stay consistent, here's what everyone knows. Life is about the law of attrition, okay? If more people will stop, then keep going. And so that means all you got to do is just keep going. Two years, three years, four years, six years, eight years for some of the biggest creators. Joe Rogan, it took years for him to pop off. Joe Budden, it took years for him to pop off. It takes years for your content to gain traction and for you to build an audience and for your audience to be receptive to your words. But you got to keep going. I almost got stuck back there. Y'all just seen that. I got stuck. I didn't know what to say. I don't like dead air. You're supposed to keep your, the audience engaged. I want to continue to have a, a strong relationship with you. Man, but when I was over there behind that fence, looking at that water, I said, what am I supposed to do? And how am I supposed to do it? I know right now, a lot of you right now, not just YouTube, but in life. You're in a place and you're stuck and you're wondering, what am I supposed to do? And how am I supposed to do it? This is difficult. Yeah, I know. I know. But you just keep going. <laughs> you want me to give you a cheat code and say the cheat code is if you do A, B, and C, the outcome is going to be X, Y, and Z. Hell no. Life is not a fairy tale. And it'll never be. But if you want to work really, really hard, if you got some ideas in your brain that you want to share with the world, then man, this is your opportunity. There's never been a chance like this ever. And I know the algorithms they be censoring. I know the platforms. <laughs> I don't like someone controlling my speech, but this is also a business. YouTube is a business. Even though I have my ideas on it being a Ponzi scheme and, and using wonderful creators like you to take advantage of them, I still recognize the opportunity because without, without YouTube, what else is there, huh? TikTok, TikTok ain't YouTube. Instagram ain't YouTube. It's a whole different experience. And when I tell you that it's changed my life, hey, this camera that I'm using right now, we got to talk about equipment because when you start doing YouTube, you might want to come in and, and do it cheap and buy a cheap camera. You buy a cheap camera, I'm going to tell you what you're going to get. Cheap results, I'm going to tell you what it's going to look like if you buy a cheap camera. 
It's gonna be an uphill journey. I don't know if you can see the uphill journey. This is a steep grade. It's about to wear my calves and my quads out, but guess what, we gonna keep pumping. And so if you go and buy a cheap camera, then you might have a really hard time because it's not gonna look that good and you ain't gonna like it. If you invest in bad sound, it ain't gonna sound that good. And you ain't gonna wanna hear it. And so for me, first I started off with the Canon M50. A great camera, I bought the Creator Bundle. The Creator Bundle was something like 700 bucks. And then when I bought that camera, I realized that my video didn't look the way I wanted it to look, so I had to buy another lens. And the lens was like 400 bucks. And I bought another lens, and the lens was like 300 bucks. Just to get the quality that I wanted. Not for just the audience, but for me. When you start watching YouTube videos, you want your videos to match the platform. I don't want my videos to look and sound different than the industry standard. And so I invested in the industry standard. The Canon M50, that's a 1080p camera. And so I wanted some 4K quality, but I also want to move my feet. And so in order to do that, what I had to do, I had to purchase the, to purchase the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's probably the hottest camera on the market right now. Should you buy the DJI Osmo Pocket 3? Probably not because it's 4K. If you ain't got a very powerful computer with some, some savvy editing skills, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of footage that you can't do nothing with. <laughs> you go buy an Osmo Pocket 3 and you try to put it on a, a computer that doesn't have over a Core i7 Intel pin, a processor, oh, you're going to have a long day. <laughs> Does anyone have a conversation about post-processing? Now, if you like me, if you could do it in one take, then we could just roll this thing. And once we get done rolling this thing, we'll just go to a, a very good internet connection. Because where I live, it, I ain't got no good internet connection. I got a terrible internet connection. The internet connection where I live is 18 megabytes a second. Try to upload a file that is 10 gigabytes at 18 megabytes a second. When I put it on that thing, it said, it will take two days. I said two days to upload a video, holy. So sometimes I gotta go to McDonald's, I gotta go to Starbucks, I gotta go wherever the internet is super fast to upload these big 10 gigabyte files for roughly about 15 minutes. Now, if you don't ever think about post-processing, post-production, then you'll end up buying things that you're not gonna have the ability to use, if you can't use it, guess what you're going to do with it? Put it down. And if you go spend $700 on a piece of equipment and you just put that thing down, it's almost like a waste of money. And I don't want nobody to waste no money. It has to be an investment. It has to be a learning experience. It has to be an enjoyable experience, right? If you make a thousand videos and you learn your own ideology, your belief system, you get some confidence because you're a creator, then your whole world just looks different. Now, if you paid $5,000 to be a more confident person, a more knowledgeable person, is that worth it? Is that worth, is the journey worth it to you? I think it's worth it. Every conversation I get to engage with you, I think it's worth it. I think building community is the way that we save the world. I think that YouTubers are the next revolutionaries in the world. Once you understand how powerful this process is, how powerful these tools are, then everything just looks different. The world starts to look different. Man, it's beautiful out here. There's fog out here. Hey, come on, camera. There's fog out here, and the grass is high, and I'm on the bayou, and it's just an experience that I can't duplicate, I can't replicate. All I can do is be grateful. And the incentive that I had to come out here and move my feet was, hell, I got the expensive-ass camera. <laughs> I got something to say. I, got, I have to continue the process because I believe faith matters so much to me. I've, I've invited people on this journey with me that I thought were very valuable people. Family matters, right? Absolutely, positively, family matters. But I, I had this beautiful quote, and it's... it's burned in my brain I can't get it out people who want you to win will help you win the people who want you to win will help you win and that that changed my perspective of my life I started to look at the people in my life and I said hold up hold up hold up you know exactly what I'm doing and yet instead of helping me you want to try to stop me instead of helping me you want me to do something different instead of helping me you want to criticize me cool I don't take it personally because it's not their journey to believe what, the, what I'm doing. It's not their journey to believe that I'm finna go and be one of the most bestest creators in the history of the world. 
That's what I believe. And some people are haters, huh? <laughs> some people are haters. Why, does, why would anyone want to invest in me for me to be one of the best creators in the history of the world? Because you're coming with me, duh. <laughs> when you build a company with a person, then guess what happens? You, you, you have sweat equity in that company. And if you're dealing with a person of character and morals, this is a good person, you don't benefit from that situation. The world is filled with people who are not good people. So I know it's easy to be terrified. It's easy to have faith and trust in a person who can easily lie to you, deceive you, manipulate you. Cool, 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 cool. You gotta believe in something bigger than that, huh? For every person that I invited to come and participate in this journey with me, for all of them that declined, I thank you for your participation. I thank you for your words. I thank you for, your, for, for being a naysayer. Because that's the energy I need to keep going. I need someone to tell me I can't do it. Just so I can prove you wrong. I need someone to tell me that I can do it. Just so I can continue to feel confident in myself. I don't need no outside validation. But it feels good. It sounds good. <laughs> All humans like to be affirmed and confirmed. That what they're doing is right and positive. And if no one says it, then God dang it. You better believe. <laughs> and that's, that's this YouTube journey. That's, that's what I'm trying to convey to you. When I come out on this bayou, why would you listen to a sweaty man? Because I'm, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work. I live in the city of Houston, and I done rode my bike around the entire city of Houston. And now, I believe in physical fitness, and so now I'm going to walk around every bayou in the city of Houston. And with this DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I have the ability to record it and share it. And hopefully, YouTube becomes a powerful tool in your life. It helps you to change your life and you become one of the next digital revolutionaries.